Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. The new release by Alte New is here and this video is actually part of a blog hop where you can win lots of prizes. Make sure to visit my blog to find all about it. Now in this new release, apart from uh, stamps, dyes and stencils, you will find new shades of ink. This is their mixed media ink which dries completely permanent and you can use it to stamp on various surfaces including fabric. And I will be playing with the blue shades today which I absolutely love. I'm going for a flower card, I will be using this lovely fresh bloom stamp set, it gives you the outline of the flower, so you can use it and color it in with your favorite coloring mediums, but you also get the layers, and these are the ones that I'm going for today, I absolutely love layering stamps, just because I get a a beautiful look in no time. Now also notice that I don't pay too much attention on placing all those layers, one on top of the other, perfectly aligned. I know that lots of people avoid this type of stamps just because um, they struggle with aligning all the layers perfectly. Don't worry too much about it, you will see the finished photos, in my case, that nothing is perfectly aligned but it still looks just fine. So I started by stamping the outline with uh, Jet Black ink, again by Altenew, and now I'm going to use all four shades of blue, starting from lighter all the way to the darker shade. Just like always, you will find a full list of supplies that I used to make this card down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. Also, don't forget that this is part of a blog. Hope there are lots of uh, giveaways to be won, so make sure to visit my blog where you will find all the info that you need. I did stamp a couple of leaves again from the same stamp set and I did use mixed media ink again to uh, color it in. I am using uh, the yellow colors for the center and you will see that I didn't even bother to align those uh, layers perfectly. It looks just fine at the end as long as you embrace that imperfection. Now I'm using my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut out a white panel which is slightly smaller than the standard card and I'm going to use this embossing folder, this is again from the new collection. It's called Crystal Wall and you will see the lovely design that you get. It's one of those embossing folders that is really versatile and you can use it for pretty much every background. So hopefully you can see the lovely effect, you can use both sides if you want. And uh, I'm going to stick this on top of my card base by using some foam tape at the back. I did use the matching dies to cut out the leaves and the flowers. I'm going to play a little bit with the composition and once I'm happy I'm going to stick everything down. Also notice that for my card base I did use navy blue just to bring more of that lovely blue shade. A very simple design to recreate, I think that the beauty of it lays on the shades of blue on the flowers and the lovely embossed background that adds something interesting back there without stealing the thunder of the flowers. You can also add some gems at the center of the flowers if you want to add some sparkle. I was really happy with how that card looked, so all I did was to add a sentiment. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already and also leave me a comment. If you do have some questions, it may take me a while to answer since I'm still on vacation and this is a scheduled video. I hope you are all having a lovely summer, thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next week with another scheduled video.